Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Today, we get to stop Clown Worshippers. That's just great, game. So, the world came to an end, so these guys decided to stop, start worshipping a clown. Yeah. That's normal. Alright, we've got another new enemy, level 50 magic, but fortunately this guy is undead, so we can just cast life, and that'll put an end to his days for good. He will go to the Lost Souls room. Ha! Got him. Getting a lot of magic points here, almost got life 3. I'm gonna need that one. Does Kepka even care that anyone worships him? Really, game? I don't think he cares. Uh oh crap, level 90 magic. Quick, quick, get Berserk, get Berserk! Okay, bounce Berserk off of yourself. Hit her, hit her! Okay, hold on, okay. Her spell bounced off, we're okay. Just get Berserk on her and we'll be fine. Hurry up, Celis. Don't go through Reflect, thank you. I forgot whether that spell went through Reflect or not. Okay, we're fine now. Uh, cast. Anything, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, once you Berserk, level 90 magic, you're fine. Um, they got some really, really nasty spells. I forget whether it's like Meteor or something like that, but you get Berserk on her and she can't cast spells anymore, and that'll take care of it. But Flare's probably the way to go, as far as uh, dealing damage to her, because I'm not even going to bother trying, you know, any barrier penetration from other sources. There we go. I didn't think we could meet up with level 90 until we got to the top. Holy crap, that was scary. So now we got clowns worshipping other clowns. And other new enemies. Level 30 magic and level 60. Uh, let's see, level 30 is still susceptible to X-Zone, so let's get to uh, Strago there. Uh, well, Raiden. At Raiden, Exxon, whatever. Same difference. Uh, what the? Why can't... Oh, I'm out of MP. Uh, crap. Well, that happens when you're using 80 MP every time you cast one of those things, but it has a better hit percentage than Exxon, so... And whenever I refer to Exxon type spells, I'm referring to things like Exxon... Oh, phew, thank goodness that didn't hit me. Uh, yeah, when I refer to Exxon effects, I mean like Odin, Raiden, uh, Exxon itself, Cleave, things like that, that cause instant death to uh, all enemies. Uh, but, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, uh, the Exxon effect also uh, delays their final attack by one turn, which, since they're dead, it won't matter anymore. So, there you are. Let's see, it'd be nice if I... I forget which one is which. Uh, I'm going to assume the one in the back is level 60, susceptible to mutes. Level 30, how did those ghosts die? I haven't even attacked them yet. I'm not paying attention to things here. Well, I guess we'll find out which one is which. Level 30 magic is susceptible to instant death there. Oh, okay, well, I guess now that one, yeah, that one is level 60, but it didn't work. What happened? That was weird. Oh crap, I forgot to cast Float on everyone! Damn it. I knew I forgot something. I hope Float doesn't go through uh, Reflect. Sorry, viewers. I, that one's on me. Oh, come on. Can you actually do something? Thank you. Uh, how do I kill this guy? Oh, fire. They're weak to fire. Okay. There we are. And that ought to finish this one off. Wow! Go, Terra! Alright, well, I need a moment to uh, heal up after that snafu, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's keep going then, this time floating my way up. Yeah, float was in my notes, viewers. I, uh, what can I tell you? I, I missed it somehow. So let's check out this chest first the Stunner! Decent weapon for a shadow there. Let's take on this red dragon. Alright, it's boss time! 
Hey, the dragon's white! Looked red on the screen there. Well, anyway, this is probably... Yeah, probably the most pathetic boss fight in the game. They made it susceptible to mute. And gave all of its commands... Or made all of its commands... Uh, magic based. So basically all you have to do is mute the boss and the boss cannot do anything. It's like, why even bother? You know? Like, really game? Well, anyway, um, I actually found a better way of uh, dealing with these guys. If uh, you multi-target a level 3 elemental spell, that'll do pretty, that'll do even better than uh, a, be a reflected flare, actually. So that's the way I'm going to go with this battle. And now the boss is basically just going to sit there for the rest of the time because I uh, can't cast anything. Oh, it'll try, but it won't actually do anything. Another interesting thing about White Dragon is that it's actually a rage for God. I, I forget whether I read this was actually a bug or something like that or whatever the problem is. But um, yeah, you can r actually get this as a rage for God. Uh, I think it cast Pearl, if I'm not mistaken, but I really don't care about that at all, really. Uh, well, as long as I got the time, why not just Osmo's MP back? Getting a little low there after casting all these spells. Ah, there we go. Uh, as with any boss, or, well, not any boss, but most bosses, you could use the Vanished Doom combo to kill it if you wanted to, but I figured just go the old-fashioned way. Yay! Oh, she learned Flare already. Okay. Oh, and we got a Pearl Lance the uh, honest way. Two dragons to go. And they're in the final area, so I want to uh, rearrange my espers and restore some MP or whatever, and be right back. I was thinking about the World of Ruin, and you know what it feels like to me, viewers? It feels like content that they would have added to a remake of the game, except this is the original of the game. It's like they were already thinking about the remake of the game, and then they said, hey, let's just add it to the game in the first place. That way we don't have to make a remake. Or we could just farm it out to someone else. Oh crap, this is probably the most dangerous battle in the area. I might die, as a matter of fact. So, first things first, we gotta uh, kill the level 80 magic. Level 90 is immune to instant death, so that won't work. And bounce berserk and hope and pray that this all works somehow. If we can kill that one, we'll be... Crap. Please hit the level 90 magic and not the level 80. Yeah, that was Murton there. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're okay. Or, now we're okay. Uh, now just cast anything. Uh, oh, I forgot I hadn't killed that level 80 yet. Well, we can do that sooner or later. Uh, yeah, etc. Need more- or, I could have just used Osmos. I am not thinking well today, viewers. Just forgetting dumb and obvious things. Oh well. Just keep on going with Exone, kill the level 80, and then we'll be able to deal with the level 90 relatively easily then. Yeah, I should have done that against level 90 magic. I didn't think about that the first time I fought him, but oh well. Oh, come on, Kara. Tara. Whatever game I'm playing here. Can you hurry up with casting Exome? There you go. Except that didn't work. Well, at least try. There we go. Did I already start casting Exome? Ah. The game never does what I want it to do. That's okay. It's kind of like a computer in order to get it to do what you want it to do. You kind of have to sneak up on it, you know? Just a couple more level 3 elemental spells, and that ought to take care of this one. Man, this tower is long. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Yay! We learned some good spells. Let's rearrange the espers. See how quickly I'm learning all these new spells now, viewers? This place is amazing, especially once you get to the top floors here. We get another force armor there. Force armors are really nice for, uh, well, not just elemental protection, but it's, uh, it's also good for, uh, well, the magic evade, obviously. 
All right, we got the gem box. It's basically X magic from Final Fantasy V. So let's equip that on Terra there. Okay, so we've got X magic now. So let's just get out of here and I'll meet you down at the bottom of the tower then. Or what's going on? Uh oh, it's all the Kefka worshippers. What do they want? They follow me up here? I don't think I can take on that many. What do we do? Can I? I can't even get back in the room. What do you want me to do? Can I make it out of here alive with Kefka's treasure? The gem box? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.